Well, I wanted to give you an update. Today is June the 19th and I just had a total emotional breakdown. My mouth is numb at my dentist. I was going to get a old cavity um, that has a crack in it refilled and when she laid me back and put that thing in my mouth, the, my anxiety, my lack of control, I, I mean, I was shaking. Um, it was rough and I was like, what is happening? And you know, this dentist has known me for 10 to 12 years and she knows a lot of the struggles my family's gone through with my ex-husband breaking his neck, my children getting sick with chronic disease, my son's kidney situation, the failure. Um, she had asked about it and I briefly told her, you know, what happened while she was giving me the anesthesia, which I was already a little anxious to start with, but it just took it to a whole nother level and I finally had a breakdown. So I'm just coming to just show y'all the real journey. Um, my video I made right after the failure happened was legit. I did feel strong. I did feel the Lord's presence. Um, but I, I just want to give you an update because someone else is going to watch that and think that maybe because they don't see the real journey long term that that's the whole story and it's not. So I have learned today that I have stored some of that trauma in my cells. I mean, I was shaking. I thought I was going to pass out at one point. Um, she was so gracious and talked with me and, you know, encouraged me to share these things with my people around me. But unfortunately, I don't really have a lot of close people around me that want to hear these things. And so um, there's an EMDR therapist I heard about that I wanted to go see anyway. And I think today has taught me that I need to just go make that appointment and, and um, check into that because, you know, my faith is not discounted by the fact that I have feelings that are real. And um, yeah, and I'm, you know, I try to turn this over to the Lord. I try to cast it on him, but at the end of the day, um, I'm somehow subconsciously still storing the trauma and the frustration and the fear and the hurt of what happened and, and the unknown of what happened. And I just feel tired. I feel tired as a mama and I feel tired as a, um, a warrior trying to just, you know, figure out dating again, figure out being a good friend, figuring out self care for myself, figuring out, um, how to take care of my children you know, and that's, the, that's, that's it. Just wanted to give you an update just to be real. So subscribe to my channel if you want to keep hearing these things and just be a part of the journey as I'm on it. And I hope it blesses you. And I hope that no matter what you keep, keep going, don't give up. And I won't either, but, um, it doesn't mean it's always going to be pretty. <laughs> okay. My mouth is so numb. <laughs> God bless y'all. Stay in the word. I need to get in the word more also and just be more intentional about spending time um, talking to the Lord and letting him heal these hurts. I do get busy and I don't do that every day. And I think I need to just really stay close to him and acknowledge the fact that we've been through a big trauma and it's, it's hard and we need to stay close to, to our father and stay close to the source of wisdom and direction and guidance and peace. So... God bless y'all.